so in this session what we're going to be looking at is the squaring of, of a number. Um, so squaring of a number is that number multiplied with itself. So it would be like 5 multiplied by 5 would be 25, so that's 5 squared. Okay, so again we've got over here our basic um, program and, um, and format as we've looked at before. And I'm going to have an integer x. Again, these variables can be anything. You can even use your own name as a variable and it will be acceptable. Whatever you declare, you can use it over there. So I can say, um, oh, let's use num over here as an example. And that's equal to zero. Okay, so I'm going to say, okay, point f. enter a number okay and let's see if this just points out an, a number so I go to run and it tells me error function print if not defined this is where it becomes very critical when it comes to programming your um, uppercase and lowercase for letters are crucial most of these commands are in lowercase. You will see that there are some commands that will come to later on that are all, all uppercase or could be a combination of uppercase and lowercase. But it's crucial to have it exactly as um, indicated. So in this case, when I print F with the uppercase P and for the first letter, it didn't recognize it as, a, as one of the functions in the standard um, input output.h and standard .h, um libraries. Okay, so point F, enter a number. Okay, so when we, um, enter, for us to enter this number, we can use a scan F command. Okay, so again, it's going to be a percentage D that we will have, and that will be with the ampersand num, because the num is going to be where the, where the value is going to be stored into. Okay, then we're going to say print f the number squared is and then percentage d. Okay, so whatever we have after this first comma that the first percentage d. It can be a single variable as we looked at in the past, like it could be just x or y, or it could be actually some calculation. Generally, depending on the complexity of the question, it might be that you've got to do the calculation before. Um, sometimes it might be that it's needed to be done in the printf statement itself. Okay, and so over here we're going to say it's num multiplied by num. So in this case, um, num or or the mod, or let's say in this case, the multiplication sign is indicated with a star. So that's usually on the keyboards like shift um, and then number eight give you the star. So that indicates multiplication in, in um, programming. Okay, and we're probably going to find that we just need to also include a new line after that as well. But you can see we have a single apostrophe over there, it doesn't like it. I need to have a semicolon over there. Okay, so now we've we've basically looked at our first um, program that um, does a little bit more complexity in terms than just adding two numbers together. It's going to multiply two numbers together. So let's see what happens when we run this program. Enter number. Well, I want to say five. The number squared is twenty-five. That's correct. Let's run the program again. In this case, I'm going to put in um, 5.2. I'm curious to know what's going to happen. The number squared is 25. So essentially what it's done is, because you've entered the number 5.2, it's, it's ignored whatever's after the comma. Okay. Let's have a look at a scenario where... Um, uh, having a look at a new command. So instead of saying num multiplied by num, um, there's a command we can use which is the power command or 
POW, POW. So POW is not prisoners of war, it refers to a power. And in this case it would be num, comma, two. So it would be numbered to the power of two. Obviously you could have to the power of five if you wish over there, or another value. Okay, so this um, command over here, the POW, this is um, one that um, can be used. Um, but let's run it and see what happens. Now we run it, we enter a number. It's shown that the, the command is um, successfully been executed. We put in the number 5. The number squared is 0. Hmm, this doesn't make sense. Well, firstly, what we've got to do over here, we've actually forgotten. We need to have a hash include math.h the reason for that is that pow is a mathematical um, expression which will be found in the math.h library so we need to include it over there the second thing that we need to keep in mind is that pow needs to have the output in terms of a floating number it doesn't um, have an output in terms of uh, integer so for example so, so in other words, over here where we've got percentage D, we need to have percentage F, which will refer to a floating number. Okay, so when this power command has been executed, the output of that value is going to be placed into the first percentage um, variable or um, value over there, which in this case, if it was a D, it would be for a decimal number, which um, it won't work. So now if we run this, Okay, oh, okay. I missed about hash include over there. There we go. So that is done properly. Enter number 5. And the number squared is 25 decimal 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So as you can see, the 25 is, is correct. And um, with this, it's actually placed a whole bunch of zeros behind it. Because obviously that is um, part of a floating number. And um, it will then... Be able to place it over there. Let's um, also just have a look over here. Maybe we want to have a variable of z is equal to pow of num comma two. Instead of having this calculation performed over here in the printf statement, we just want to have z over there as the output. Okay, so how would this um, work is here if it if it does well first if we run it it's not going to work why not because it doesn't know what z is we need to declare it over there so we're going to declare it as a um integer if we declare it as an integer let's see what happens five is entered and up to 0 0.000 because obviously z needs to be a floating number it can't be an integer so we actually need to modified over here and we need to call it a float z is equal to zero so over here we we declaring a floating number instead of saying int we're saying it's a float okay what happens if we run a program now so we enter six for example the number squared is 36 so it shows that the output needs to be a floating number it cannot be an integer would this work if we add num as an integer, not a, uh, sorry, as a floating number, not an integer. So float num is equal to zero. Let's have a look. Five. The number squared is zero. Okay, the re one reason is that we wanted, to, we've got a scan f over here, which is a percentage d, which indicates it should be a, a decimal number, and we don't want it, we want it to be a floating number. So we need to change it to a percentage f first, because num is a floating number. Um, Number now, let's run it. 5, oh, the number squared is 25. So that's quite useful. What happens if we run it again and, and do put in a decimal number? So now we put in a number like 5.46. That's 29.811600. Let's run this program again. What's the biggest number you think we can probably square? Now let's start. 50. Oh, that is uh, 2,500. 
which makes sense. We run the program again. If we had to put in 100, would it give you an answer? Oh, it does. Does it that, that is equal to 10,000? Okay, let's put in another number. What happens if we put in 50,000? Well, it's able to give us that calculation over there. All right, now let's just stick it a little bit. Let's just have a floating number. We are entering only, a, again, a decimal number. And again, we are going to be looking at, uh, um, at setting this num over here to be an integer. Okay, so I just want to see if, again, if I end up putting 50,000, what happens? It gives me a certain number of that. Let me run it again. Let's put in a number of um, 500,000. Now, you see that it's supposed to be two five zeros with a whole bunch of zeros, but you'll see that there's now suddenly a 9999897876 decimal zeros over there. Now what's happening over there is, I was trying to sort of look at what large number we can pursue, and it all depends very much on the software package you're using, in terms of um, what program language you, you might be busy with, and also with the processor that you're using. So on some computers and some um, programs, you will find that if you had just type in 50, it would be 50 squared would be the maximum number you probably would be able to achieve. Well, maybe 51 or 52 as well, but it will be very much limited in terms of the numbers that you can use. As, start, as soon as you start using bigger numbers, this overflow is, is, is what happens. And that's where you get some corruption in your data. And the numbers are not exactly equal to um, what you want it to appear to be as. And so this corruption can happen. That's usually with the overflow of, of the numbers. So um, you do have to keep that in mind. Um, again, whenever you do programming, you want to do it in small steps. So see if your input is correct, if your calculations are correct and stuff. And if you do see an error like this, and you know, okay, there's usually some restriction in terms of an upper limit number that can be used. Just keep that in mind um, when we come to um, programs later on. Okay, so we've basically looked at introducing um, the math.h um, library over there. We've looked at the introduction of floating numbers over there. Um, how to input floating numbers, how to um, do a calculation. It will store a number into a floating number. And then obviously the output of floating numbers as well. And then um, we also looked at the POW or the POW um, command as shown over here.